next up we have uh we have Jux surf so these are two three aerospace engineers and chemical engineers who you might have actually seen in the newspaper recently they're building the world's first recycled carbon fiber surfboards what do you get when you combine aerospace engineers and chemists with over 10 years of experience in carbon fiber research. Teaming up with local surf communities. Working together for one goal. To provide the ultimate surfing experience. Jacques Surf. Hi there, my name is James Randall and I'm a PhD student from Deakin University. One of the things I really want to get out of my PhD was see my hard work go into an application and be useful to people. And I'm proud to say that the help of my friends, Philip and Andreas, I believe we can get there with the manufacturing of surfboards. Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Sochevsky and founder of Jacques Surf. I completed my PhD in Aerospace Engineering at Deakin University and now with the help of my mates I'm trying to combine aerospace technology and carbon fibre and uh, place it into the surfing industry here locally in Geelong. Hey, my name is Andreas Hendelmeier. I also studied Aerospace Engineering in Germany at the University of Stuttgart. Currently I'm working on my PhD at Deakin University in, in Geelong. I live on the beautiful surf coast in Turkey next to Bells Beach and during my PhD I got super lucky to meet these great guys Jimmy and Philip and together we started our company Jacques Surf. So what binds the three of us together is that we've all completed or are the final stages of completing our PhDs in carbon fiber research. So together what we're trying to do is combine organic chemistry principles as well as aerospace grade uh, engineering principles to solve some problems that are facing the surfing industry at the moment and do it with our uh, material of choice, carbon fibre. I like to think of myself as the glue that holds this group together. And that's because my job is to do chemistry on the sources of carbon fibres, interact better with the resin, making a stronger and more durable board overall. Carbon fibre surfboards have several issues. One is carbon fibre surfboards are too stiff. Also, delamination could be an issue. So using our expertise in carbon fibre, what we're trying to do is solve these problems. We can create a stronger board, a lighter board, as well as one that is more delamination proof than anything on the current market. And on top of that, we can create it for a price that is the same as a current e-glass board. Using all of this information, we think we can change the surfing industry forever. So we're Jack Surf, and we hope you can join us on our journey. Hi, Andy. Hi, Olga. Hi, Philip and James. Hi, how are you? Hello. How are we? Hi, everyone. Good. <laughs> great planes and cars in your video. Really great footage. <laughs> Thank you. D Deakin is very strong in carbon fiber research and innovating for a circular economy. And it's so great to see the students demonstrating what they learned with cool companies like you. Jack surf. Two of you are aerospace engineers. So why surfboards? So, so good evening, everyone. And one thing which really motivated us to make surfboards was we had a conversation with the younger generation down here on the surf coast, and they told us nothing changed in, well, several years in the surfboard industry. And we thought we could change something. Yeah. And uh, hi everyone, I'm Phil. And building on that as well, out of all of Australia, uh, Geelong is the only place in all of the country that makes carbon fibre. 
On top of that, it feels like living on the surf coast, everyone seems to be a surfer. And we wanted to apply our expertise in carbon fiber and our research expertise into real world application. So why not Geelong? Why not surfboards? It seemed like a great fit. Why not carbon fiber? Yes, absolutely. So when I Google carbon fiber surfboard, the first result is an article from two years ago uh, named the death of carbon fiber surfboards. What is different about your boards? Yeah, so that's a pretty rough kind of article to try and tackle, but sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. So the answer to that is there's a reason carbon fiber is being used on airplanes. Why well, it's been used in a lot of other sporting applications. And the reason it's just a superior material. So current surfboards, when they were tried to be converted to carbon fiber, were too stiff. So it just didn't feel like a surfboard. But with our expertise in aerospace engineering and industry applications and chemistry, we can make the board feel the exact same and just be a stronger, lighter, and better performing board. So it's just when it was tried, it wasn't done right. And we can do it right. Fantastic. Thank you, Tim. And I hear that you have already received your first sale order from Hawaii. Congratulations. Well <laughs> Thank done. You. Thank you. <laughs> over, to, over to you, Daisy. Awesome. Thank you, Olga. Congratulations. Yeah, they recently got their first sale. They recently got a bunch of press. So it's exciting to see the momentum shifting in week two of the program already. 